It's August 24th, 2021, and this is Sketchworks News Break. The news stops here. I'm Brian Troxell. As the U.S. evacuation from Kabul, Afghanistan continues, the Pentagon has called upon commercial airlines to help with the evacuation. No, 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 not Spirit Airlines, no. Are you kidding? Those refugees have suffered enough. Twitter says that the Taliban can remain on their platform as long as they follow the rules. Per Twitter's terms of service, as long as you don't spread misinformation, rape and murder all you like. President Biden announced that he will cancel $5.8 billion in student loan debt for anyone who is disabled. And no, gender studies majors do not qualify. Last week, a man threatened to kill President Biden with a truck bomb in Washington, D.C. Authorities say the man was crazy for thinking Biden spends any time in Washington, D.C. As of midnight last night, our long New York State nightmare is over. America's worst governor is out. America's newest governor is in. Meet the new boss. Same as the old boss. Except this new boss doesn't forcibly kiss people or have a penis. The first non-penis governor in New York State history. Speaking of governors, this one with a penis, allegedly, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan on Sunday urged the federal government to release the COVID booster shot now, saying Americans can't wait any longer. He also urged Netflix to release the new season of Stranger Things now, because Americans can't wait any longer. I got a call back for a role in the new season of Stranger Things. Did not book it. An Alabama man calling himself the vaccine police told pharmacists at a Missouri Walmart that they could be executed if they continued giving COVID shots. On his way back to Alabama, the man stopped at a Cracker Barrel where he told the waitress he was the biscuit police and said she would be executed if she stopped bringing him their delicious homemade buttermilk biscuits. Hmm, a story about COVID and a strange Alabama person. Do we stay with COVID or do we stay with Alabama? Hmm, I can't decide. Alabama hospitals say that due to COVID, aha, and now I don't have to decide. Alabama hospitals say that due to COVID, they do not have space to put patients in ICU beds. Instead, they will use the ICU backseat of the car. Okay, decision time for realsies. Alabama or COVID? You know what? I still can't decide. How about Mississippi and COVID? Mississippi's health department reports some people are getting sick because they used a horse deworming medication to treat COVID-19. Reasonable people know you don't go to Tractor Supply Company for your COVID-19 treatments. You go to Four Seasons Total Landscaping. <laughs> she, you know what? All these COVID-centric news stories makes me think it's 2020 all over again. The only thing missing is, hey, look, there it is. A new murder hornet hive was discovered last Thursday near Blaine, Washington. Entomologists will eradicate the hive just as soon as their giant vacuum is back from the repair shop. Okay, are we finished with COVID? Yes, yes we are. I, I mean in the show, in the show, we're obviously not finished with, with COVID. Anyway, it seems we cannot put off this Alabama thing any longer. Two men in Alabama shot each other after one of them thought the other was an intruder. The intruder turned out to be his wife's boyfriend who secretly lived in his home for the past year. Sheriff's deputies say the wife was also high on meth. You know what, we, we, we should have just stayed with COVID. <clears throat> Everyone knows that cats make the best pets. Sketchworks Newsbreak correspondent Tim Millard certainly thinks so, but he also tells us cats may also hold secrets to our health. This is my cat Noodle. There's a lot I don't understand about him. 
For example, why does he sleep all day? Why does he throw up in the middle of the night? Why does he scratch this couch even though he has a scratching pad? Certain things we'll never understand about cats, but according to a report in the New York Times, there are some things that we can discover about cats that can help us live healthier lives. According to the New York Times, understanding cat genomes can help us understand human medical knowledge. So here's an example. One of the drugs being used to treat COVID-19 was developed because it was first used to treat a type of coronavirus in cats. The too long I didn't read the study takeaway is this. Understand cat genomes and you might better understand human life. I don't understand why he just decided to clean himself in the middle of this report, but... Oh, it's so adorable. For Sketchworks Newsbreak, I'm Tim Millard. You done? Give him a minute. Thank you, Tim. A man in Utah is dead after falling more than 50 feet from a ride at an amusement park. He was not amused. Neither is Winston. A five-year-old boy says Skittles helped give him the fuel he needed to hike the entire Appalachian Trail with his parents. That's more than 2,100 miles on foot. Imagine how much farther he would have gone if Skittles hadn't replaced the lime flavor with those dumb green apple Skittles. What do you think, Winston? You want to do some news, uh, news about technology? All right. News about technology. Facebook is finally cracking down on the racism and misinformation that's so rampant on the site. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Facebook instead introduced a new virtual reality app that allows work from home people to gather in a virtual office. It's called, this could have just been an email. An Apple II manual signed in 1980 by Steve Jobs and Mike Markula you know who Mike Markula is, Winnie? Hmm. Was purchased at a Boston auction house for over $780,000. At the same auction, $14 was paid for Mark Zuckerberg's first hoodie. Content subscription website OnlyFans is banning pornography, the very thing that made it popular, so it can attract more funding from banks and other investors. The ban starts in October which is just enough time for OnlyFans to go out of business and become a spirit Halloween store. Three former Netflix employees are accused of making $3 million through inside trading. At least they didn't make you pay an extra fee so you didn't have to sit through any ads while prosecutors read the indictment. That's my microphone, Winnie. Security footage showed that the body of a dead stripper was taken from New York City and dumped on the street in New Jersey, finally answering the question, why would anyone visit New Jersey? Two weeks after naming himself the new host of Jeopardy, Mike Richards has stepped down as the new host of Jeopardy. Allegations surfaced of Richards' past questionable behavior on the game show The Price is Right behavior which allegedly included pregnancy discrimination and inappropriate actions around models and other women. With Richards out, Jeopardy! producers have selected their new host, Andrew Cuomo. Hey, you remember Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, the Sarah Michelle Gellar TV series, not the Christy Swanson movie. Nobody remembers the Christy Swanson movie. Remember the guy who played Xander Harris? One of Buffy's Sunnydale high school friends? Winston does, and he doesn't like him. You ever wonder what happened to him? Well, I can tell you. He was arrested last week in Indiana for trying to buy prescription drugs with a fake ID. He was later bailed out of jail by Giles. Patagonia will no longer sell its merchandise at a Wyoming ski resort because one of the resort's owners hosted a fundraiser with the likes of conspiracy theorist and congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. But it makes sense when you realize Patagonia is an anagram for Nauti Pawa, an indigenous Polynesian tribe in New Zealand. And if you think that's crazy, just wait until you hear what some of Green's supporters believe. 
Researchers have discovered a secret colony of endangered marmots living on a Vancouver island. Environmentalists are encouraged by this discovery. I, however, know these marmots are lying in wait to take over the world when the human race becomes extinct as a result of the coronavirus. I know I said we were done with COVID on this show. An animal sanctuary in South Africa is locking people in a cage for the lion's viewing pleasure, calling it a reverse zoo. Unfortunately, the lions aren't allowed to leave without first walking through the gift shop. That's all for Sketchworks News Break. Unfortunately, you aren't allowed to leave without first walking through our gift shop, also known as our Patreon. Hey, here's the deal. If you donate anything this week, I'll take next week off and let somebody else host. How about that? We'll be back next week, and we hope you are too. I'm Brian Troxell. Say hi to your mom for me. She's my gift shop. Hmm.